please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new. And if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Okay, y'all, today we are going to be sublimating a 20 ounce, actually two 20 ounce skinny tumblers in a mug press. Okay, so I'm excited to do this. This is my first time doing it. You guys know how I feel about these mugs and these bottoms and these seams. So we're going to get this inside, get it perfect every single time. Okay, that's what our goal is. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I designed these inside of Canva. These are different designs I got from Etsy and Elements in Canva. If you want me to do a tutorial on how I created these images, please let me know. Comment below. Ooh, it's a lot going on, but I'm extra, so we're going to just keep it. And this one mine, so it don't matter. All right. So now let's go ahead and download and upload the silhouette. All right, we are inside the Silhouette Studio, the business edition. I'm going to go ahead and merge, which is bring the image that I want up. Okay, so this is the image that I want. And let's make sure 9.1327.950. .9 I think I want to change it. Remember, we want to make sure our measurements are the correct measurements for exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to make sure that my measurement is 9.1327. .9 Seven five nine, but it's not gonna let me put all that. So nine point one eight eight, and then the height I want it to be eight inches even. Come on, you gonna let me do it? Nine point one eight eight, and then eight. All right, so this is. The size that I want to print it out and I'm going to go ahead and print with my Epson workforce 7720 I already have everything set for my presets watch my sublimation for beginners video for the popping colors so you can know what that is and for sublimation you always have to mirror the image and my presets is already measured so let's go ahead and meet me over at my heat press Oh, I haven't used this heat press and I don't know how long. So let's go ahead and see how this go. Okay, so this is what I'm using today. Excuse the dust. This is the Heat Press Nation Signature Series um, Mug Press. Yes, I have their uh, heat press and their mug press. I love Heat Press Nation. Um, I have my tumbler. Mug. That is not a mug. I have my tumbler. I have... The heat press is set for 380 for 80 seconds. I'm going to be rotating it inside of here. Yes, this is the mug press. And yes, I'm doing a tumbler. Um, this, I got this from the dollar store. This is alcohol. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with that. I have a, a whole little Dollar Tree hack. I'm going to talk about that. And this coffee filter. Um, I have my image already printed out. My heat press, I mean my heat gloves. And my heat tape, Cricut, and then here's my Amazon one. And I have my Amazon one as well. If I'm going to use that one or not, I haven't decided. But anywho, so these are all my scissors. So these are the items that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to switch views so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay? Okay. Right. So like I said... I'm going to actually use this. This is actually a nail polish um, dispenser pump. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And like I said, I'm going to talk about that later. And this is a coffee filter. Got from the Dollar Tree too. I'm going to talk about this in another video. But I use this to clean off now because 
these are lint free so i was using paper towel and you want all of the lint and everything to be off of your mugs these mugs have something on it um when i was doing something before but you know what i'm still going to use it because this is for me so hopefully it just goes over it it shouldn't be that bad but it's not coming off and i'm not using another one that i might sell or give as a gift so i'm going to just stick with this one. okay so it's dry that quick also the higher the alcohol content like 91 percent the higher it is the faster it dries so that's something good to know okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and i got these cute scissors from amazon i actually have a storefront on amazon now so if you want to go and see like what books i read the things that i purchased all of that good stuff you guys can go on amazon and check out my storefront y'all already know the name everything is do dream on so i'll put the link down below also with my affiliate link down below i'll put my storefront my do dream on storefront isn't that exciting yep i'm an amazon influencer now they approve my stuff I don't want to cut too much of it off. I hope I'm a mess in the frame for y'all to see. I'll probably just fast forward this in there. All right. This is a sub paper, and this is actually 105. Okay. So now let's wrap this around. You know, the tighter the better. too short? No. No, it's not too short. All right. Let me scoot this over so I gotta make sure y'all can see me in the frame. So y'all should remember how I did my tumblers. I got a couple videos, so if you don't, you can watch them. And I could have made it a little bit longer if I wanted to. See that eight? I could have made it longer than eight. Here I am just making sure the image is wrapped really tight around my tumbler, taping it up really tight. I typically um, tape the bottom and the top around in a circle, but I didn't this time. And I just wanted to see how it goes. Maybe one time I'll do it, but this time I did not. I'm going to put the butcher paper in. And then I'm going to cut this up and this is scary part. I'm going to slide this in. Now, I tightened it completely up. I tightened these all the way that it can go. So, I'm going to start with this side so I can make sure when I turn it that I'm twisting. I'm going to have to turn it four times. Okay? So, first, I'm going to do it. I want to make sure that the whole bottom is in. Okay. So I'm going to one, two, three, four. I'm going to put it one, two, three, four at the fifth piece of tape. Okay. It's at 380 for 80 seconds. Okay. So now, and you can see it's coming through. Now I'm going to rotate it down so I can make sure the whole thing is getting pressed. 80 more seconds. 
Y'all see that smoke? Okay. Uh oh. That one might have got. It might have been on there too long. Or it might just be the color. So now, remember I did it on the fifth one. So I'm going to do it down at the bottom. I don't want it to get too much in the middle because I don't want it to burn. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to hit it right here. So we're going to start from this side again. One last time. All the way over. I hope I'm not burning this. I've never burned one before. So I hope I'm not burning this thing. All right, y'all. I hope I didn't burn this. It looks a little burnt. Because I've never, ever, ever scorched or burnt anything before. So this looks like it might be burned. See that? But only one way to find out. And if so, I'll just have to cut down the amount of time that I'm pressing it. I hope it's not burned. I'm going to be really upset because I've never burned anything before. It looks burnt. But let's see. I think I may have to go shorter amount of time. Yeah, I burned it. I knew I burned it. Dang, dang, dang. Okay. So, I'm going to have to go shorter amount of time. Cause my heat press get hot. I only burned it in one spot though. Look at that seam though. It looks good though. And that side didn't burn. Just this side. And this was like the last side. It looks really good. So it actually okay. So the 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 hotter it gets, the longer it's in there, the shorter amount of time I'll let it do. But it look good. We're going to do it one more time. Okay, y'all. Practice makes perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to keep doing tumblers until I get each and every one of them perfect every time. Okay? That's just my personality. I'm, I'm not going to stop until I get them exactly perfect. So this one, I made it a little bit longer. I did it for 8.125. I'll change the heat press time. It was 380 for 60 seconds. And I did that. I think I want to do uh, 380 for 70 seconds. I think I'll feel good with that. I also purposely didn't use butcher paper to see if there would be a difference. Shoot. All right. So I redid it 380 for 60 seconds. I was trying not to burn it again. Let's see if we got it right this time. It was only burnt the first time in one spot. I did it! I did it! I did it! And look at that scene. Ow. All right. 
Sweet kitten. I just gotta wait. What the heck? Hold up. Okay. We just gotta wipe that off. Good titty. Yep, <laughs> oh, I see the bra. Boom. Okay, the bottom could be a little bit better. The bottom could be a little bit better. But you can sub a mug. Okay, you can sub a mug. See, that's why I did that bottom like that. <laughs> I've done tricked the system. So that's why I did that. So even if it wasn't perfect, you wouldn't be able to feel. was able to sub a mug a full I mean a, a tumbler in the mud press I'm gonna wipe it off so you could so it could get clean so you can see There we go. Oh, yeah. Had to clean it off. Look how pretty that is. I did a good job. This was the first one that was burned a little bit. So I think I could do even 380 at like 70. I think I could do that. Cause this one was 80 and it's a little bit more vibrant so I could think I think I could do 380 at 70 but it turned out good y'all and the bottom looked better on the one I did at 80 too but I did the top all the way to the top on this one but I did it I subbed a tumbler and my heat press nation mug press yay we did it we did it so it could be done just twerked a little bit but we could tweak twerk just twerk a little bit just tweak a little bit but we could do it all right yay okie dokie smoky that's all folks and that's a wrap Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have not already, please join Queen Dreamer, our Facebook group. Please make sure if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you holla at your girl. Um, like I said, join Queen Dreamers. We love it over there. If you uh, want me to go over any videos or anything, please let me know. Um, if you want to see how I designed this in um, Canva, these are several different designs. If you want to see that video, let me know because I don't know if you guys want to see it or not, but I can make it for you guys. I mean, edit it for you guys. So let me know if you want me to make a video on how I designed this. Okay. Or uh, you could check out Queen Dreamer if you want to put any questions or any comments in the comment section below check out the description because i may answer some questions for you already but yeah i love y'all but y'all know that already y'all be safe out there you hear bye and remember whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve words to napoleon hill and oh my goodness you guys I can't talk. We are at 9,113, less than 900 subscribers to our journey to 10K, our road to 10K. I cannot believe it. We are so close. I'm, I'm shot. I just have nothing to say, but I love you guys. Please continue to subscribe. Please continue to share, like, comment. I'm flabbergasted. That's what I am. I have no words.
I'm speechless. I love y'all. But y'all know that? Y'all know that. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.